But next, we're going to celebrate the anniversary of a composer who was highly regarded and tremendously successful in his day, but whose name nowadays is largely forgotten. Albert Catelby, who died 50 years ago, was born in Birmingham and studied music at Trinity College in London. As an 11-year-old boy, he wrote a piano sonata, which was praised by Edward Elgar. But he became hugely famous and in due course very wealthy, thanks to a piece we're about to hear, In a Monastery Garden. This evokes the serene atmosphere of an English cathedral. Now, once he's done this formula, Albert Catelby, wisely enough, followed it up with a series of similar poetic musical pictures, such as In a Chinese Temple Garden and In a Persian Market. And he's said to be the first British composer to have become a millionaire. His work is part of a vanished tradition of light music that still evokes huge affection from among those who know the music. So there was a bit of uh, cleaning up to do there. Uh, the, uh the promenade crowd, that's got them really excited, all the uh, strange noises of vacuum cleaners and so forth. And as part of the traditions there, uh, perhaps a tribute to the Royal Air Force, there's usually some paper aircraft uh, fights that break out, and um, that was a successful one just there. But we've got to get ourselves in the mood for in a monastery garden. But uh, the audiences at this uh, promenade season have done really well. Despite the straightened financial times, audience of the proms grew overall by 5%. Well, here we go again. Here now comes conductor David Robertson once again to conduct the BBC Symphony Orchestra. Leader Andrew Haveron in a monastery garden.
Roberts, Catelby's Inner Monastery Garden. The BBC Symphony Orchestra conducted by David Robertson with the men of the BBC Symphony Chorus and the BBC Singers. That performance commemorates Catelby's death 50 years ago. Yes, the nightingale sounds, the bird song, that was provided by percussionist David Hawkins.